What is going on guys? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. Okay, so yesterday Google dropped Android 13 in its stable form for some of the Pixel 6 series devices and 5 and other variants of those. But in addition to that, what we also got was a kind of a surprise update that was discussed weeks ago that was not rolling out like it should have been, but is an update for those Pixel Bud Pros. This brings us up to 2.14 for that firmware version. I haven't seen necessarily any changes yet. I've had some issues where the uh, basically each earbud is kind of degrading in battery life different. So if they're sitting in the case, they should each be at 99, 98, 97%, but one will be at 93, one will be at like 97. So it's always fluctuated a couple of percentage points. So I'm hoping it addresses that. I wanna go ahead and show you guys how to upgrade and to show you where to look for those firmware upgrades as well. Let's jump right into it. All right, so what you're gonna wanna do is make sure you have your Pixel Bud Pros next to whatever device you want to connect them to. In this case, we're gonna use our 6A. I'm gonna go ahead and unlock it. And once we do that, we'll set it right down, grab your Pixel Bud Pros, open the case so you get that pairing notification to show you that it is connected. Once that banner comes up, go ahead and click it and we'll connect just to have all the options right there listed out. And from the device detail screen, you're gonna to wanna to look for more settings and under more settings, you can see it says firmware updates, about and more. When you click on that, you'll see right below in-ear detection is firmware update. And currently obviously we're showing up to date since we just updated it. But you can also see that the earbuds, each individually, the left, right, and then the case are all signed to 2.14. They actually update individually. So when you're actually running through the update process, the left earbuds, then the right, and then the case actually do update separately. Pretty interesting, but no big deal. Aside from that, you can also get your tips and support here. You can get email notifications if you want to allow those to be read through your headphones uh, and all of that neat stuff as well. I haven't seen anything new necessarily in this update. Like I said, pretty simple how to update these, but no groundbreaking new features have been added or anything like that. Um, I'm hoping it does help with the lag from gaming. Uh, there is somewhat of a substantial uh, ping delay, I guess you can call it, but hopefully that'll be addressed here. It's been too soon, haven't had a chance to test it, but that'll be one of the good things. Hopefully that'll be taken care of in this update. Aside from that, you can see the actual um, details of the device screen hasn't changed too much. You still have your battery notifications um, as well as the case notification. And then, yeah, all your typical same settings. So that's it for this one, guys. I hope this helps you update your earbuds if you were looking for that. Thumbs up this video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.